boards were on the burn pile and I took them off because I figured I could use them for something. And so I, I took them off the burn pile and then they, they were over here and I'm like, well, I'm going to use them right now to help train Finn. And I want to talk about this real quick that it really doesn't have to be anything complicated. You know, everything that we train the dogs to do, there's nothing that's complicated, okay? But they're not going to want to do it at first. It doesn't matter if it's teaching the dog to hold and retrieve. He didn't want to do it. He's no different than any other dog. They don't want to do it. It doesn't matter. You know what's best for the dog. Finn, sit. So he didn't want to walk on these. And I really didn't give a shit. I'm like, this is what we're going to do. So within a session, I taught him that this is the desired action, that I want him to walk on these planks. And by doing this, I'm giving the dog direction and I'm making the dog more confident. Know that if your dog ever hesitates, like when we first came up here, when I first started working with Ben, he didn't want to walk through the back door. I made him walk through the back door. If your dog ever hesitates, make them do it. Don't encourage that sort of fear, fear in the dog. Don't talk to the dog saying, oh, it'll be all right. That's not what I did to teach him to walk on this. When he jumped off of it or when he was trying to jump off of it, I, got, I put him back on it and said, no, walk the plank. So now, now he'll walk it. He, well, he was earlier. We, we've only done this. This will be the second session. Let's see if he'll do it. He'll probably do it. Here. Finn! Come here, Finn. I'm coming, Kane. Finn, walk this plank. Come on, buddy. That's awesome, dude. Now walk the small one. Come on, buddy. You got... No! See, they jump off. That's not good. He needs to go right back to this point where he's where he screwed up. Finn, come on, let's go. You got it. Come on, dude. Let him do it again. This is the second session doing that. Come on, here. Finn, here. So he's got this one. This one's wider. Finn, here. Up. Walk. Good boy. Now I'm going to choke up on the leash, right? I'm going to choke up on the leash like this. No, Finn, here. Walk the plank. You got it, dude. You got it, little man. Come on. Do it again. Good boy. Finn, here. Up. Oh, he's running that one. Finn, come on, do this one. No. No. Walk. Walk. No cheating. Good. Good boy. He, did you see how he screwed up at the beginning, but I stopped him, and then the rest of it, he walked on it. Dogs cheat. Now, dogs might not want to do something out of fear, or they might just be cheating. At first, when you start doing it, it might just be that the dog has a dominant streak, and they don't want to do what they're told. You have to send that correct message to the dog. No, do this. This is fun. Train the dog so that everything's a game. That's all this is. It's a game. Here. Finn! Come on, Finny. Finny, up. Hang on, do it again, dude. Here. He's going too fast. Can I do this one, Finn? Nice job, buddy! Yeah, Kate, I did good. Do it again, buddy. No, heel. Here. Finn. Okay. He's running it now. Okay, go slow on this one. Finn, no. Walk the plank. Oh, yeah, you got it. You got it. Good job, buddy. Here. Let's see if we'll do it, th do it in reverse. Finn, here. No, walk the plank this way. Good job. Do this one now. Good. Good boy. Teaching your dog agility, it's something that is fun for the dog and it builds confidence. That's all this is. It's like something to build confidence. Now, maybe this would come in hand if he was, if his mom wanted to do agility with him. Sure. This is a four-month-old puppy, by the way. So it doesn't matter how old the dog is. If I had Tonka out here, Tonka wouldn't want to do this. So the dog has to learn. It took him about a session. It'd probably take Tonka about a session. Let, let, let me go get Tonka and I'll show you what I mean. Hang on. He, he's never done this. He won't want to do it. Hang on.
So here's Tonka. Tonka won't want to do this. I guarantee you, he'll he'll try and jump off of it. Tonka, here. Tonka, walk this. No. Come here. Here. Here, put a leash on. Tonka, here. See? See what I'm saying? Look, this small one. Come on, you can do it. Here. Take a session for him to learn, just like the puppy. It's not that it's not complicated, but now it's important that we start doing this that Tonka does it. Tonka, leave my shit leave my shit alone, brother. Here. Tonka, here. Just walk the no, walk it, dude. No, here. Right there. Whoa. Here. Deal. There you go. We did it with the puppy the exact same way. Get up there. Up. No. Here. Here. Okay, now the small one. Talk is hyperactive in case uh, she didn't notice. Very persistent and a hyperactive dog. It's a difficult kind of dog to deal with. Finn's a lot easier to deal with. He'll, he's an athlete. This guy's an athlete. No, take it slow, dude. You got it. Here. Here, Tonka. No. No. <laughs> no. Come here. Slow. Slow. Come on. Heel. Slow. Watch what you're doing, dude. Slow. Heel. That stinks. Come here. Do the small one. Come here. Come on, here. Terrible. He's obsessed with these gloves. Oh, I know why. I was burning stuff in the back. It smells like smoke. Here, come on. Walk. No! 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 Here. Tonka, no! Heel, come on, heel. You did it. There you go. Here. Tonka, here. Good. This is harder for Tonka, he's bigger. You know, this is this is not that wide. Here. Come on. He did it. Alright, so honestly it took the puppy just about the same amount of time, something like that. It, it doesn't matter what it is. If your dog is hesitating to do something, don't ever say, oh, it'll be alright, or any kind of you know, tone like that. Don't plead with the dog. Don't use a consoling tone. That'll fuck the dog up. Just tell the dog to do it. That's it. If I tell the dog to do it, that means that you're safe. Don't worry about it. Just do it. It's pretty good, Tonky. Tonka. I love the guy, but he's a pain in the ass. Go on.